Hey, Jibber's Tony coming at you. Well, you seen this box truck? I showed you the salvage yard truck. Well, I finished the U-Haul that came in. It's a 1970 U-Haul truck now. I may add a little bit of rust. I'm not sure, but I just left it alone for now. But that's how she came out. She looks, I like it. You don't see too many of these floating around. Uh, I copied that paint scheme from a pitcher and uh, got my buddy to make me up some uh, things for the size so it looks good. And uh, thanks uh, Nitro. And uh, yeah, it looks like a U-Haul. Very cool. So we're just gonna walk around. I love this hill. This is actually a hill. I don't know how well it makes it out, but sitting on a hill. Uh, 72 around a junkyard. Hmm. I like that car. My 72 flatbed. This is still on eBay. And we'll show you. I also in this U-Haul, because y'all know. So we got the U-Haul, and I also made this down here, which is, let's see if I can get it out. Yeah, you can pull it out like that, so you can see it. Homemade ram. And of course, it's on the flatbed right, or on the tow truck right now, so. This hits just like, ooh. that so I made the little ramp for the U-Haul and I just did this one I don't know if the light's going to show it this is a 70 Chevelle got some kind of dark in here a little bit but some real water effects realistic water not going to really show it see if I bring the light over Also added some water effects in the trunk. It's pretty good. I like it. Let's just pick her up and move her right over here. So yeah. Realistic. There we go. You can see the shine in it. See the rust underneath? It looks really good. Um all rusted out there. Rust it out. I don't know if I'm going to get the interior of this. Probably not. But. Oh, it rusted in there. You know, it's coming out. It came out pretty good. I like it. I'm pretty sure I built this for eBay. It also has that front end damage. Well, you can see the floor a little bit. It's rusted on the driver's side, passenger side. That's my realistic water in the thing. A lot of rust. Cut out that door. And then you can see underneath now what I did to her. You know, I rusted out the whole floorboards. Complete rust on the tank. Look at that. Yep. So I did that. I did the uh, U-Haul I finished. That's you last seen. And I've had this for a while. I love the Back to the Future movie. I love the DeLorean and the Gullwing doors. But I just found this one. This is uh, a <laughs> Back to the Future 2 from Jim's himself. And then we got this. Yet yeah, another crew cab. 77 GMC. Yes, that is a shaker on there because I like to be different. 
I do have a stock hood for this too. But there's a Hemi in there. I stole a Hemi and a shaker from the 70 Cuda and I put it in my 77 GMC. You know, I did both, I did the uh, bench seats. Um, it's a short bed, four wheel drive. Got the little ball antenna. These are cool. Little custom add on. I'm gonna do some, do some vehicles. Then we got cut and mow landscaping. My buddy made these for me too. So let's see what this got. It's a 24 inch tandem trailer. There's my landscaping logo. Yes, sir. And in this, we got some tools, a garden hose. Uh, that's uh, like garden tools in that little briefcase. We got some bug spray back there somewhere and some hedge clippers or tree trimmers. Those also fold up. But I leave them for support on this trailer because what's inside of it, and I'm going to show you. And this looks a little messy, apologize. Here, right here. But I didn't want to glue the roof on. So it's just kind of held on there. Just so I can do this. I do have the same decals on the other side but I don't want to spin this whole thing around. The door, let's see if I can, you see a little flappy thing there. Door goes down, the flap opens, so it looks realistic. Then we got the, the zero turn, little weed whacker, um, wheelbarrow, an extra gas can. On this side, we got the ladder hanging. Let's see if I can get that hang on the wall along with the yard rate somewhere in here. See, let me fix it. There we go. No, kinda. Oh boy. Just when you want to do something. Anyways. So I got that, I got a leaf blower right there, the push mower, a riding lawnmower, um, got some rakes and hoe, yeah, hoes, spade shovel and stuff like that, yard tools. Um, can't really see it that good because I'm an idiot and I don't have much light in here. But, oh, there we go. So you can see, there's the push mower. Riding more, the wheels turn, it has blades underneath for the mower blades, engine compartment opens, zero turn, uh, turns, it has uh, the actual mower blades underneath that spin, but really cool detail, I, I also had a little excavator, which I got to build a truck for that to go with it, but that project came out really good, I liked it. Um, Something different, but there's the crew cab landscaping. Look how big that is. Combination. Apologize for the probably bad quality of this video. I'm trying to bang up a few things at once. Oh, my camper got smashed by the light, so I gotta fix that. It's over here now, sitting by itself. But there it is, folks cool car still floating but yes yeah, this is this is where it's at i haven't really done too much i've been busy at work so all right folks until next time stony out i know you'll tell me what you think peace